That chord, a lot of people call the Hendrix chord. It's actually called E7 sharp 9. I guess for Hendrix, it'd be E flat 7 sharp 9 since he tuned down a half step. Now, the first time the sharp 9 chord was used is probably in George Gershwin's music or in early bebop. But the first time I can think of it being used that I recognized it is in Miles Davis's song, All Blues, which is off the 1958 kind of blue album. Then the bridge goes to D7, sharp nine, E flat seven, sharp nine, D7 sharp 9 back to the van. The next time I think I heard it was actually on another Miles Davis song called ESP, which is off the ESP record, which was released in 1965. You also hear it on the first track from the Beatles' 1966 release, Revolver, which is my favorite Beatles record, uh, Taxman, right? So... They say the hook right there on that D7 sharp nine chord. And then in 1967 from Are You Experienced? Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix. I was thinking about this, the opening riff has that G major triad that outlines the sound of that chord, right from the fifth flat seven sharp nine. And then in the chord, you also have that E major triad. So you have E major and G major both together in it, which gives it that sound. Hendrix also used it in, in Hey Joe, uh, which is actually the first song I ever learned, really first lead I ever learned was from Hey Joe. It became even more commonly used in the 70s. Let's say Pink Floyd, Shine On You Crazy Diamond. At the end of the guitar solo. Right before it goes into a Remember when you were young. Larry Carlton played it as the first chord in Steely Dan's Don't Take Me Alive off the Royal Scam album. Which was actually really hard to play because I'm playing two notes with a ring finger. In fact, I asked Larry Carlton about that chord when I interviewed him last year. I think we had already finished the guitar solo. And Donald said, we got to put something in front, though. It just starts cold. And he went, let's just put a big chord. It was that simple. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Steely Dan uses it all the time. If you remember the song, Peg. It begins with a series of major nine to sharp nine, major nine to sharp nine, major nine to sharp nine. They also use it in the introduction of Josie, Steely Dan does. up right here right there so this part E7 sharp 9 again and then to this really cool voicing another person that uses it unsurprisingly is Stevie Ray Vaughan like at the end of Pride and Joy he goes As a matter of fact he actually implies the entire chord sharp 9 root 7 Fifth, fourth, sharp nine to the natural third, right? Totally describes the chord right there. And then in 1992, actually Jerry Cantrell plays without the third, I think, but I think the vocals are actually singing that note. So you can actually hear that sharp nine. One of the reasons it's used in rock is because it combines both the major and minor blues scales together. The major blues scale is one, two, sharp nine or flat third, third, fifth, sixth, one, so. Then the minor blues scale is one, flat third, or sharp nine, four, five, flat seven. Great. So what is the Hendrix chord? Let's take a look at it. 
you have the notes E, G sharp, D, and then G natural. Okay, well this note, this G natural, is really an F double sharp. F double sharp, what is that? Well, there's the note E, here's the note F sharp, and here's the note F double sharp. That's the sharp nine. The reason it's a sharp nine is because it has a natural third in it, right here, the G sharp, which makes it a dominant type chord. So it's a dominant seven sharp nine chord. There are two scales that it commonly comes from. One is the half hole diminished and the other is the alter dominant or super locrian scale. I'll demonstrate those in a second. In jazz, it's used as an alteration on a five chord. Let's say you have two, five, one, right? So I get, There it, there's a two, five, one in the key of A. So I did B minor seven, E seven sharp nine to A major seven. That scale is the E half whole diminished scale, otherwise known as the E dominant diminished scale. So it starts with a half step, then whole step, and then alternates half steps and whole steps. The other scale that you can use over that E7 sharp 9 is the E alter dominant scale. One flat 9 sharp 9 major 3rd sharp 4 sharp 5 flat 7. That's the 7th mode of the melodic minor scale. In this case it's the 7th mode of the F melodic minor scale. So E, F, G, G sharp. So it has the sharp 9 and the major third just like the half hole diminished does but it also has the sharp 5 whereas the half hole diminished does not have a sharp 5 it has a natural 5 a natural 6 flat 9 sharp 9 and flat 7 the thing I like best about this chord is that you can play these different scales over and get completely different sounds. Let's say I play E7 sharp 9 in the keyboard. You can play the bluesy kind of sound. You can play the dominant diminished. Or you can play alter dominant. All three of those scales have a completely different vibe and it gives you this great palette to paint with when you're soloing. The other thing is that the chord works as a connector chord. That's why you see it in these progressions like this. Uh, with a common tone. So on this F major add nine, I keep that common G and then or do the same thing like this. And it really works in a lot of different contexts, as you can see. So what you really learned from today's video is that it's actually not the Hendrix chord. It was used long before Hendrix, and he probably got it from listening to jazz players. And it's called a dominant seven sharp nine, or simply a sharp nine chord. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're a first time viewer, ring the bell. That'll let you know when I go live and when a new video comes out. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. That's very important. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out the new Beato ear training program at beatoeartraining.com. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.